If the future of surgery is medicine, then the future of medicines is compounding, the individualization of dosages and drug combinations. Back in 2015, the FDA approved the very first 3D printed drug product. It was called Spritam, developed by Apricia Pharmaceuticals. The layering process of 3D printing allows the manufacturer to tightly package active ingredients in very precise dosages. A far more complex use of that same technology is certainly not very far behind. One that will open the door to mechanized compounding of drugs at patient by patient, individualized dosages, a customized 3D printed pill for Mr. Smith and a very different one for Ms. Jones. For compounding pharmacists, the expansion of the use of 3D printing tech will mean even more demand, whether on a small scale of production, a, a local pharmacy, or on a large one, a, a centralized facility filling hundreds or thousands or millions of prescriptions for individualized medications. At the small scale end of this continuum, the move from large scale drug manufacturing to individualized drug compounding via 3D printing is the equivalent of the morphing of the multi-million dollar printing press into the laser printer or the, the inkjet in your home office. It's the dematerialization and the democratization of drug manufacturing. For physicians in states that either allow them to own interests in pharmacies or to dispense pharmaceuticals from their office practices, the technology opens new doors to patient care and new doors to profit. Underlying all of this for physicians and for pharmacists alike is the opportunity to do new types of deals with unique structures. That requires a new way of thinking. It also requires careful compliance with a host of regulatory issues from the federal anti-kickback statute to Stark to federal food, drug and cosmetic act issues. But those are just the problems on the route to outcomes that will be profitable for patients and profitable for providers as well, perhaps including you.